own hilarious fake time travel videos. I'm about to show you is gonna blow your freaking mind. This is absolute proof that I am a time traveler. I have with me an item from Taco Bell that does not exist anywhere else but in 2027. McDonald's sold its sold its quarter pounder to Taco Bell in 2027, guys. His video. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. Why, 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 why are people fascinated with time travel? Why? We're all fascinated with time travel, one form or the other. Like, we can't help it. Time travel is awesome! Imagine the Super Bowl, which Super Bowl do you want? Out of all the Super Bowl you want, time travel should be the best, should be the one you want compared to every other Super Bowl. You're ready to travel back in time. You know, time travel is both ways, right? Back in time and to the future. <laughs> so many books, so many novels, so many mid uh, movies, series, Western, Korean, Chinese, they all dealt with time travel in different ways. I think the most popular is um, about the, the one about the DeLorean, that car, and the professor, and the kids. Roads? Where we're going, we don't need roads. And the butterfly effect, and I can't remember. I can't remember. Oh, let's just do this. Time travelers on TikTok. Then look no further than TikTok. The app features thousands of morons who claim to be from the future, and of these we will show you the absolute stupidest. Now it's hard to tell exactly where the genre or trend began, but some of these so-called time travelers actually have pretty uh -huh. impressive so cool. counts. One of the smaller ones with a touch over 80,000 goes by the name of Eno Ulrich, or Radiant Time Traveler, and they claim to be from the year 2671, whilst warning that mankind is on the brink of destruction. Now the instant problem with this description <laughs> is that if mankind is going to end in the next couple of years, years, then how did you even make it to 2671 without being wiped out beforehand? Under the assumption that this time traveling TikToker happened to be one of the lucky survivors and is therefore still legitimate, let's take a look at the countless different warning videos in which some of the following predictions have been made. A large meteor is soon to hit Earth containing new types of metals and alien species, a group of four teenagers will soon discover ancient ruins and a device that opens a wormhole to other galaxies, and that a team of scientists exploring the Mariana Trench will find a new ancient species species. However, Eno Alaric's most profound and life-changing prediction is that there will be Fortnite events in the next couple of years. Judging from the comments, there's an insane amount of kids as well as idiots on Reddit who do believe that this is actually a real time traveler, but for the most part, the account is pretty heavily clowned on. Do we ever find out who Joe Mama is? Can you predict when my dad will come back? That's enough Marvel for you. Instead of simply going back and winning the lottery, Radiant Time Traveler has opted to gain status by promising his fans a highly requested face reveal at 1 million followers. However, this achievement has already been completed by that one time traveler who's gained 1.4 million followers and 14.6 million likes, having gone out of their way to state, yes, I'm a real time traveler. And while having to specify that you're a real time traveler pretty much confirms that you're not a real time traveler, the account actually has a pretty decent story behind it. Their first video was posted back in August 2020 and it read, I got TikTok to prove I'm a real time traveler. If this blows up, I'll start revealing what happened in every single year. Now the video was instantly called out in the comments, one of which stating, if you were really a time traveler, you would already know if the video would blow up. You wouldn't say if this video blows up. <laughs> However, because the video was posted to TikTok, of course it blew up and that one time traveler continued to post. Their next video read, a lot of people don't believe I am a time traveler, so I'm gonna prove I am. Remember the day, 24th of September, 2020. Something big happens on this day. Blow this up and I'll expose what happens on this day. I promise to you, I I am a real time traveler. I have so much things to share with you all. 
Now, what ended up happening on the date he highlighted the 24th of September 2020 is something that we'll discuss a little bit later. However, this claim was somewhat <laughs> insignificant as the TikToker's new videos began to get outrageous. There was a video explaining that his company had created a time machine in the year 2485, although the footage on screen was not from the future, but rather from the movie Pacific Rim. A different claim was that the Earth will end or be destroyed on July 6, 2788 from a gigantic meteoroid, although once again, this claim was short-sighted as noticed by this comment. Dude, you said you're from the year 2485, right? How come you know what happens in 2788? Obviously, these claims were complete bogus. However, to put a spin on things, there were other predictions that had been made correctly. In 2021, an asteroid that is half the size of the moon passes by Earth, which was somewhat accurate, and that 2021 will be the best year to come for many, starting with a cure for COVID-19, which ended up being correct. On the other hand, there were multiple flaws with this prediction. If he knew when the vaccine was coming out and he had access to a time machine, why didn't he just go to the point where the vaccine had been made and bring it back to the beginning of the virus? If you're from 2005, why would you even care about COVID? Why wouldn't you go back to the 1300s and cure the Black Death Plague, which- It's I can say, I don't have to explain this. I don't believe you're from the future, but it makes no sense to travel back in time and mess with the past, right? And go back and show human beings the cure. They're like, nah, 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 nah. I think it's better this way. Some people believe, some people don't believe, some people accept, some people don't accept. But if you go back with the cure and cure the over, everybody's like, yeah, you're from the future, everybody will accept. But I think it's better this way. Like, tidbits, don't like, sprinkle it a little bit. Those who believe, believe. Those who don't, don't killed up to 50% of Europe's population at the time. This just highlights another problem with that one time traveler's claims. If you stated in your own words that 2020 has been a bad year and you could go back to any point in human history, why the hell would you skip the turn of the century, London in the 1800s, Woodstock 1969, and instead come to the most depressed point in human history to upload TikTok videos to a website that might ban you if you post anything controversial? Let me get this straight. You come from the future and the first thing you do is make a TikTok. You are a time traveler. Keep it as a secret? No. Open a TikTok account? Yes. If you were a time traveler, you wouldn't need TikTok to blow up. Purely from a money and fame standpoint, you'd know exactly what you need to do already. This is a very good point, but it's not like these commenters are the only ones to have noticed how stupid these time traveling pages are. Another TikToker going by the name of Jim Official has dedicated a large portion of his account to dunking on these idiotic TikTok time travelers by making his own hilarious fake time traveler travel videos. What I'm about to show you is going to blow your freaking mind. This is absolute proof that I am a time traveler. I have with me an item from Taco Bell that does not exist anywhere else but in 2027. McDonald's sold its, sold its quarter pounder to Taco Bell in 2027, guys. His video started by stating that he had 100% proof that he was a time traveler because he owned an old video game console. I'm gonna show you my proof right now. I'm gonna show you a device that's from a different time period altogether. I have a Super Nintendo from 1995. I'm a time traveler from the past. Dead serious, look at this. Yet after this first video went viral, this percentage of proof slowly increased, appearing as 110% in the next video. My last video went kind of viral about me claiming I'm a time traveler and I had the proof 100% that I was a time traveler. Apparently that's just not enough. This right here is a video camcorder used back in 1999 by families that lived in that time period. How could I possibly get this guys? Come on. And once the videos had reached 200% proof, Jim Official was even able to get items from the future. You said you want something from the future? I got something from the future. I have here a Big Mac from 2032. Now if you notice, it's got mixed greens instead of lettuce. People are more self-conscious in 2032. What was hilarious about the videos was that by the time Jim Official got to 800% proof that he was a time traveler, his parody videos were actually becoming somewhat convincing. Guys, I am here in 1865 in a town called Phoenix, Arizona before it became a big thriving city. How can you deny this proof? I am literally here in Western Times 1865. Guys, come on now. How much more proof? With the other respectable thing being that Jim Official actually adds his personality into the content as opposed to these other accounts who simply use text-to-speech with stock footage or short clips from futuristic movies. However, there is one serious time-traveling TikToker who's brave enough to show her face, okay. and that's okay. the bizarre case of Tequila Mockingbird. My name's Tequila Mockingbird, and 
I am a time traveler. You might remember Tequila from Anthony Padilla's video, I Spent a Day with Time Travelers. And while she is the head of the Time Travelers Association, there isn't much to indicate that she has any credibility. Have you ever time traveled? Yes, I have time traveled. How do you time travel? I use inner space, but I'm looking to use outer space to penetrate inner space in the future. Being a time traveler, has there been anything you saw coming before it actually happened? Yes, my mother. I picked her out. I, I saw her from a cloud and said, I want her to be my mother. In fact, her TikTok such as this one titled Traveling Through Time 18th Century with Tequila literally just shows her face placed over the top of various old paintings with a reface app watermark in the top left hand corner. But with the amount of views that some of these videos get, it's no wonder people set themselves up as fake time travelers. For example, the very first video on this TikTok account gained 1.7 million views by making the most basic seven second video, which simply stated, I am a time traveler from the year 2069 before making some other totally bogus claims. A different TikToker gained a whopping 25 million views by taking the image of a time traveler from Google, stating that he was from the year 2099, then revealing that alien creatures known as the Xenu will visit Earth in 2029, which will then result in World War III between us and the aliens. Yes, 25 million views for that. <laughs> this video, which simply warns of a leaked document from a time traveler, has gained over 9 million views, whilst this other video gained 21 million views by making three predictions about what was going to happen in early 2022. But the unique thing about the time traveler who had posted this video was that after providing hundreds of warnings about our future, they seemed to get tired of the doom saying and instead resorted to posting videos of them riding their motorbike. Any comment which brings up their time traveling past is responded to with confusion as if the TikToker has no idea what they're talking about. And while this is evidence that the account with over 1 million followers was lying the whole time, there is one final method to absolutely prove it. I would say that the account was not hacked and taken over. Or maybe the person actually sold the account. People do that, right? And why people do that, people can sell sell off their account if they have millions of they just try to sell it off to someone else. <laughs> Weird whether or not these accounts are telling the truth or not. Some of these TikTokers have been on the platform for long enough to have made predictions about dates that have already passed, so we can simply go back and look to see if anything did really happen on these dates. For example, when we were looking at that one time traveler, they claimed in one of their first TikToks that we needed to remember the date September 24th, 2020, as something big happens on this day, yet, as you might guess, nothing of significance happened, unless you're counting the vegan teacher's birthday. The page also made the prediction that on the 5th of May, 2020, 2022, a super tsunami would hit the west coast of the USA. However, the TikTok account's greatest inaccurate prediction was that on the 25th of May 2022, Nirons, or what you all call aliens, will start making their appearance on Earth, and that as a result, we'll build the first ever large mechanical war machine, resulting in the start of a new type of warfare. You could probably argue that this prediction is in close competition with the statement that we'd find Atlantis on the 2nd of February 2022. However, both of these predictions work in unison to prove that these TikTok time travelers are completely and utterly <laughs> 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 uh, I can't believe I watched this. I finished watching this, right? Fake TikTok time travelers. Yeah, and I'm good. I'm patient. I actually watched this whole 10 minutes video. So, yo, if you're watching it, also thank you, kudos, man. <laughs> Peace out, that's all I'm saying, man. Time travel, man. <laughs> what an ability to have.